What's up, everybody? This is JT back with another podcast. Today's number episode 59. And I guess today, monkeypox outbreak has been declared a global health emergency by the World Health Organization. And I, uh, it says this classification is the highest alert that the World Health Organization can issue and follows a worldwide upsurge in cases. So, yeah, there's just another, they said that these were going to keep happening too after um, COVID, you know, new strains, but, you know, I don't know, I think anyone is expecting just an all new virus altogether. And it's, um, you know, I don't know. They said, last time I saw, I saw that there's some cases like in L.A. But, um, you know, you know what that means. It's just going to be this, more vaccines. Because those pharmaceutical companies got a little, got a lot of bit of taste of like trillion dollar contracts and just basically no end in sight with money and you know they're going to attack this and I hope they do you know I I love I love solutions to these issues for sure but where there's money there's fucking you know there's some sketchiness for sure but I guess monkeypox was first discovered in Central Africa in the 1950s and it says the stigma and discrimination can be as dangerous as any virus. He said cases were currently concentrated among men who had sex with men, especially those with multiple sexual partners, and that countries needed to adopt measures that protect their health, human rights, and dignity. So they're they're going after the gays, the men who had sex with men. That's what they're saying is the cases are currently concentrated. Initial symptoms, um, you know, they include high fever, swollen lymph nodes, and blistery chicken pox-like rations, often on the mouth or genitals in the recent cases. Infections are usually mild. Declaration, de- declaring a global emergency is a significant act. It's a rally cry for countries to take the virus seriously. It raises awareness. So, goddamn, you know, <clears throat> it goes COVID, COVID-19. We have the Delta, different strains. Now we have monkeypox. I wonder what the next strain of this one's going to be, you know. It's going to be like... Uh, great babe donkey donkey dong but it's hilarious how they're like it's amongst gay people they're like yo everyone's gonna be like yo enough of that which is messed up but like the last since 2009 there's been like um there's been seven declarations of like highest alert from the world health organization and we'll start with we'll go backwards in time it starts with monkeypox covid19 and then in 2018 if you don't remember the kivu kivu ebola But before that, I remember the Zika virus that was messed up. And then in 2014, the Ebola, see that Kiva Ebola was just another strain of Ebola in Western Africa in 2014. And then in 2014, polio was declared again. And before that, if you don't remember, the swine flu pandemic. But it seems like they're, they're, they're just getting naturally stronger from what it looks like. The Zika virus was pretty scary. It was turning everyone's, the baby's heads small and stuff. It was terrifying. 
It was so terrifying, dude. I've never, it was this, and that's like, fuck that. And that's when it makes me not want to travel places when shit like that's breaking out. But is it all a conspiracy? Is it all a plan? I don't know, but that fucking virus shit is crazy, bro. And, you know, but yeah, and that's what sucks because those vaccines, like I took the COVID vaccines, but I fucking felt crazy for a couple of days. I was working a lot at the time too. I didn't miss work, but actually after I got my, after I got him, I went to the gym after and like squatted hard and shit, which is probably hilarious, but I fucking worked out, got the saunas and shit, and then felt shitty for like three days and then fucking got after it. But, you know, that's how the G's do it. But yeah, we're just out here, man. Um, another health epidemic. And that's it's you know just part of the game now. But like, what do you want? Do you want no fucking no um, medicine and and um, <clears throat> just people to be free? But they they're just like telling you. They're just letting you know, basically, like yo, shit's fucked up. And shit's spreading amongst the gay population, so watch your ass, boy. But yeah, I can't, I can't watch this fucking, I can't stop watching this one video. These people, I don't know where the fuck they lived, but this monkey that is trying to steal this fuck, this baby, like this toddler, it's crazy. I don't get like, and then the dad comes, like, the, first of all, all the kids run away. Like, that's how you know that this isn't America. Well, first of all, there's no monkeys in America. But I like to, like to think American kids would just stay there. But the mom comes out, grabs the monkey, I mean, grabs the kid, and is, like, fending off the monkey. The monkey. And the dad comes, and he just, like, does some pussy, like, foot kicks. And the monkey, like, still is grabbing the baby, and the mom's, like, fending it off. But there's a pool nearby, and I would grab that monkey and fucking throw it in the fucking pool. But I don't know. Those, they say monkeys could, like, tear your eyeballs out and shit. So it's fucking terrifying. But, yeah, the, the dad came out looking like a toddler learning karate. Just hilarious. Throwing the lowest high kick you've ever seen. But the mom straight G'd up. Man, that's hilarious. And dude, yeah, I can't stop watching these these animal videos. And then there's this other one where this cat, these cats, I'm starting to like cats more. These cats look like straight Pokemon nowadays. There's some fancy cats. And the way they move, it look like almost robotic in a way. That's crazy. Yeah. But that's what's going on, yo. And then there's... That's what's crazy, is just connecting to the world. You just know so much of what's going on. Some people just cut out everything, though. And they say, like... Like, uh, like there was that Buddhist monk who would just go into a cave for, like, 20 years and meditate. And it's like, dude... Are you about that life? Can you just get away and cut everything off and just zone in? And just transfer to another astral plane and just, and just say goodbye to all material things. Just the origin of suffering is attachment, so you have to just cut it off. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Don't get it too attached to the physical realm because a virus could just come and get that ass. But yo, that's JT. Back with another one. One time for the one time.